Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of RimWorld Beta 19. The fire that we dealt with last episode is still going, fortunately it's far away from our crops. And well we still have these fire breaks which I guess I can just cancel right now because they are... Uh, well that one might be needed so I'll leave that one going. But the other ones can definitely be cancelled. As you can see, fires are still pretty devastating. Uh, I'm actually surprised the fire this big has gone on without the firebreaker turning on. As you may know from my Alpha 16 series, the firebreaker is a system that RimWorld has that when the fires get too big, um, the game just... Oh, there it goes. The game makes it rain so that uh, CPU cycles are preserved. We have a caravan coming, they're a bulk goods trader, that might be useful for us. Not very, but somewhat. We do have a few things that they might be interested in. Who is our best social? So let's see, Warden. I think they're equally terrible, they are. So let's go with Kristen, because she is the healthiest. And as usual, I'm going to set everything to market value and sell from cheapest to most expensive. Now, what can we sell? Well, not much. We have camel hide, but we do want to keep those for clothing. Um, components we're going to need. Here's a pork cloth tribal wear, which we can possibly trade it for a t-shirt yeah I think that's what um, trail one wants however I don't think we have anything that we can really trade except maybe some fox fur and light leather is that enough no so let's trade some camel hide that was too much as usual I am trying to keep our our wealth not our health our health should be high, but our wealth as low as possible. That way, uh, raids will stay small and we won't have any trouble dealing with them. Do you want this halt? Not that. This halt urgently. Thank you, Kristen. Very good. Now, I was told. Two things. First, that animal sleeping spots or beds can be turned into medical uh, animal spots that heal pets faster. Now, I'm not entirely sure about that, but there's that information if you'd like to test it for yourself. We might test it later in the series once we have the external externus materials to build pet beds for now, sleeping spots more than good enough especially once we get some alpacas coming in what else uh, I was told I could deconstruct these uh, walls for free blocks I know it's just not worth the time right now again uh, gotta maximize our time use it's much faster to build these wooden walls for the basics of this colony Okay, we continue to have low medicine, low food, and tattered apparel. Now, Trayvon already put on his uh, lizard skin t-shirt. Not that Took, because, well, Took. Hopefully, he won't put it back on. It's not that cold. Nah, he did put it back on. Well, never mind then. Looks like it is that cold. Oh well, we'll have to get them some hats later. It's planned. First they, they'll have to finish the stockpile zone room place thingy. Uh, and get themselves food and I can cancel this. Will work. That's nice. We have some wild heal root ready to harvest. We should keep an eye on those somewhat the the only problem with these is that I can't really do the whole uh, growing zone thing because as far as I know 
Once they are harvested, their next location is a bit random. So yeah. I'll just uh, do it manually. I also don't want to harvest a lot of them because they do decay. And they're obviously not going to be used that much if I can help it. Alright, food is coming in. We are no longer low on food. Though I really would prefer if these potatoes were hauled in as a matter of priority. I really don't want to leave them decaying outside. Now let's see, a jailbird named Wang calls you from nearby. It's being chased by outlanders, begs for safety, 24 years old, but no time to collect more information. Uh, one town guard. We can accept the extra person. Let's look at Wang. Uh, perfectly healthy. That's great. Mm. Basicist with bloodlust. Oh, that's amazing. Unfortunately, his um, passion is in melee. However, he does have good shooting, which I'll take advantage of. Good with animals and crafting, also pretty good. And already brings his own clothing. So let's see what kind of weapons we have around. Uh, we have the spore knife, which has a 5.8. And the sandstone, yeah, the spore knife is much better. So let's equip that. Let's have Kristen and Trayvon come over here because the pirates will be coming. And let's have Wang come and stand with them. Alright, that Outlander unfortunately has a bolt rifle. Which definitely means we need to lure them closer to the base. Come on, let's see them. Perfect. Now we grab Trayvon and Wang, send them to attack, Kristen, up to there, or not there, or maybe here, that's great. So now we have a bolt action rifle and a short bow that we can definitely use. We'll have that hold urgently, that person stripped, and other such stuff. Now Trayvon did get a little bit hurt, uh, and he's the only one who can heal, which he is, fortunately. How is Wang? Wang is possibly going to be our cook now. Cooking skill of three. Yep. Yeah. Also our handler. Everyone can bed rest. Only Terry one can't be a patient. Uh, they can mine because different things. Of course you can craft like what the heck. And everyone can research even though we don't really have a research thing going. That is okay. For now, we are still good. So that person's gonna get eventually stripped. We need a grave for them, which hopefully Kristen will get to. Yep, there she goes. Now time to do other things, such as plant more stuff. Okay, Wang uh, is gonna need a bedroom. So we have to start you know, giving him one. So time to go deeper into the mountain. For now he will have uh, a sleeping spot over there for the time being while a bed is being made. Good enough. Looks like he's already going for the alpacas. Which is pretty good. They'll bring us both milk and alpaca wool for clothing and trading of course. Uh, hope I can meet as well. That's unfortunate. Nothing I can do about that now. Who is mining? Kristen is mining. Not too bad. I think it's 
cool enough that I don't really have to worry about the passive coolers getting too cold. So there's that, they're going to sleep. Which reminds me that I haven't set anything up for Wang. And also, if you'd like to have Wang named after you, you know the drill, just leave a comment down below. And the first person to comment that they want Wang? That that did not sound... Uh, I apologize. But the first person to comment that uh, they want Wang named after them will get it. Uh, unless it's Trayvon again. We're not gonna have multiple Trayvons going. Or Krista. Though I don't think she's watching the series. That's okay. Alright, so cooking is happening. Which I am pleased with. Well, mildly happening. Where did one go? Oh, it's already time to tame an alpaca. That's fine. That corpse... Uh, actually, no. It can stay forbidden. Alright, we have one alpaca. Uh, which means it's time to create a zone. Let's manage it. Now, in this beta, we don't have a difference between animal and personal zones. So, that's actually pretty useful. I hated that. Uh, but let's call this zone not inside. And select the inside of the base and future insides for the base. Then we go into manage areas again. We invert the zone. And we set the alpacas to be not inside. This is so that they don't come and eat our potatoes and stuff. They can eat everything outside, but nothing inside. Now these animal sleeping spots, make sure that they don't wander too far and stay there. So when they need to sleep, instead of sleeping on the spot, they will come racing back over here, lay down here, and then just keep wandering. They'll never wander too far, that is the point uh, of those uh, sleeping spots, not exactly to give them a comfortable place to sleep, I don't think, but we can be a little bit nice and just put a roof over there, like a little porch hanging space thingy. We have a peace talks quest to go to, so let's see. Where is it? It's here. I don't think it's worth it. It's about three days of walking. Um, hmm. And we can forage on the way there. And we look at what? Um, uh, yeah, 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 good. We will get what? I have to go into the message tab and see that again. Uh, improve relations with their faction and receive gifts. A poor negotiator can cause more harm than good, and we don't have any good negotiators. So definitely not worth the risk. So try one. You've healed yourself, so now you're just resting. That's pretty fine. How is Wang? Praying? Yes, darkness needs someone to help. And now cooking, which great, because we definitely need those meals going. Gotta get that meal going because low food. Though that low food never lasts so uh, right now anyway. Uh, because there's a lot of things growing, it just gotta wait a little bit and those meals definitely last for the time being. Okay. It's a little bit of a shame that with the mining uh, people aren't doing as much hauling as they could. Uh, how is this wood? That's still fine. No need to have them priority haul it. Which is great. Because we do not want to waste their time. Too bad about try one. I only wish he was up, uh, but he's almost healed, so... Yeah, he's definitely almost healed. So it'll be fine. Wang is a little better miner than everyone else, which 
also helps uh, make the whole mining thing faster. And expand this zone. Keep expanding it so that they, they're not always carrying things around. Something else we are going to want is to come into smooth surfaces and, well, smooth the surface. We're gonna have to remove the, the ore here because there's no way to make it pretty. But you know, it's a thing, it can happen. Alright, the alpacas that we've tamed now have their wool growing. But no milk. Interesting. So they don't give us milk anymore? Uh, well, that's unfortunate. Are you sure? Did they remove that? Oh, if so, I might just have to get a mod for it, because in real life, people do get milk and wool from alpacas. It's a pretty common thing to do. I have a new alpaca, which is good. And I think we only have one male alpaca being tamed. That's the f a female, that's another female. Have we already tamed the male? Oh, yes, we have. Alpaca tree with wool growth. Alright then. If nothing else, we can just make new alpacas and kill the older ones. Right, gotta remember to zone them in, or out in this case. Everyone's asleep. Oh, except Kristen. Kristen just woke up. That's why <laughs> I stagger the things. Just that uh, we start minimizing the times where everyone is asleep, so that the series can continue properly. Kristen definitely getting us some good food going. Uh, especially soon, the rice is ready to harvest. Uh, oh, no, she's just going to smooth that slate. That's fine too. We don't mind that. Tray one, we're getting onto the rice business. Very good, the crops getting tended, they get time to talk and build community, which is always great. Now, Tray one. Yeah, slept in the heat, ready apparel. Yeah, he's not having a good time. That's fine for now, I don't think he is too risky. Yeah, because spacious interior. Yeah, we have some buffs going on. Including keeping their needs up high and you know trying to prettify as much as we can. For the time being anyway. Alright, so the mining efforts are definitely well underway, and you can see why cut through a piece of um, ore while Kristen is cutting through a single one, he's going to finish his second one. He's definitely a good miner. Well, not good, but a decent miner. Much better than having everyone on mining. And in fact, I'm gonna take uh, Kristen and Trey one off mining. They are not good at it. And so might be more suited for other pursuits, like hauling. Especially now that we have someone that can be a dedicated miner. Or as dedicated as we need. Pretty darn good. It's not like we have the amount of food that make it necessary to uh, have a permanent cook. They can just uh, do things at their own pace. Right, more rice brought in, which means more meals gonna come in. Oh, well, actually those are potatoes. It's also fine. Soon, soon raccoon. Alright, that might be too many alpacas if we are not going to get milk from them. So we're just gonna give that up. Get ourselves... Uh, more true breeding, if that. Right, someone needs to get cleaning over here. And once this is done and Wang's room is ready, we can definitely start building a workshop. 
so that we can start making blocks instead of you know tearing down ruins for that purpose because these ruins work as a pretty good you know um, defense spot and uh, they don't really give you enough blocks to justify tearing them down unless you are going for very early blocks or you know just turning a small ruin into your starting base as I tend to do okay we're getting more wood though we don't really need it but you know it'll be used up eventually just a matter of time now when I would love it if you'd prioritize that because it's almost done and I just really want to finish this okay perfect smooth it out yeah, Kristen's gonna have one heck of a job right now. It's gonna finish that. On the bright side, her construction is really gonna go up. It's already 10 and she has a burning passion. Yeah. There is no real way that's not gonna be up and running. Now, before you do that, can you prioritize the, the torch lamp so that you're not working in darkness? Thank you very much. Ah, uh, she went to eat some potatoes. Guess we don't have enough food yet. That's fine. She can also hunt us an alpaca. If things get really bad, but I don't think they will. Have some rice coming in. Though it might get uh, just eaten. Yep, it's been made into a meal. Kristen's still gonna eat the raw rice, that's fine. Why not? Guess I can grab a few of these bushes, I think. Yeah, they're all fully grown, so that's fine. Grab them berries. Where is Trayvon doing our cotton? We need to start making clothes of other types soon. We don't really have the real manpower yet. Gonna have to finish other projects before they can be free enough to do the crafting. Which sucks a little, but uh, yeah. Gonna get done. That corpse will eventually get buried. Also, yay, people are getting along. Oh, that's pretty good. No one has negative relationship with other people. Amazing. Negative relationships are always a little bit bad because people will insult each other and start fist fights and other such things. We really don't want those to happen. Okay, try one. Ah, oh, you're harvesting the berry bushes. Good. That's quite a bit of... Did you prioritize this berry bush? And yeah, let's hold those berries urgently. Because they need to get cooked into meals, or, you know, eaten immediately. Hopefully cooked. But either way, they're, they're good because they can eat them raw without penalty. That's mostly what we want. Alright, we're definitely gonna need more berries, so let's harvest only fully grown and... There's a few more there. That'll work. Also here, yeah. Don't want to give them too much work, let's cancel these. Because those are not necessary for the time being. Pretty good. So tray one should be going for the harvesting of food. Ah, very good. Now, we 
that note, that will be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, even though it was a calmer episode. We did get a new person, so yay, new person! And if you'd like your name in the game, just leave a comment down below and let me know you want it. But that's it for me, don't forget to check out my Patreon, like and subscribe. I'll see you next time and until then, remember, here, there be dragons. Thank you so much to my patrons for making this channel possible. Click the Patreon logo to become one of these fine folk. And if you enjoyed the video, here are some more YouTube things you would like. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Have a lovely day and I'll see you next time.